So we have all the tiles in place, all the pieces already uh, nicely installed in our shower and I'm slowly moving forward with uh, preparation for grouting. Um, I'm removing all the tin set that got through the joints like you see here we have tin set that is actually in a joint so what I'm using I'm using knife and removing just a little bit uh, enough for grout to fill the space so uh, areas like this it's something you have to look for because otherwise you will end up with tin set sticking out through the grout if grout is pretty close in color it might be not noticeable but usually we have different colors so so we have to take care of this part and this is my next step so I'm gonna remove all the debris here from the floor from the tub area and slowly start grouting so I'll keep you updated with all the tile work and I'm already finished also with cleaning before grouting so uh, the next step will be grouting what I did I covered part of the floor and part of the curb because we're going to use two different colors of the grout for the shower we have lighter uh, ceramic tiles we will use antique white and uh, on the main floor we have uh, marble and for that uh, product we will use uh, and send that uh, linen grout which is slightly different in color so uh, this is why I covered this so any grout will be falling from grouting in the shower will not get to the grout spaces in the floor later once I'm done with the shower part I'll just remove the plastic and I have ready and I will have floor ready to be grouted but yes this is the last view before we do any grouting we already have toilet in place and the tub also done yes so this is grout time what we will need for that we will need some uh, wa uh, water to wash off the grout empty bucket where we can actually mix the grout of course grout float uh, gloves uh, sponge uh, and another interesting thing that i'm using is stain blocker formula this uh, stain blocker uh, is added instead of water when mixing grout so uh, there's still a little bit of water that we're adding but uh, most of the liquid uh, present in a grout is this product 
Uh, as you can see, this is what it does, protects grout from staining, easier cleaning, maintenance, etc., etc. This is one of the uh, types. There are some other manufacturers that also produce pr manufacturing this type of products uh, to be used with a grout, uh, simply to make the grout uh, very strong. And this is goal. So, um, since this product appeared on the market, this is what I've been adding. This is about $25, 30 dollars a uh, for a quarter, but one bottle is enough for one bag of grout. So we can approximately grout about 150 square feet with the one bag of grout and one product like this. So this is something definitely worth of consideration when uh, getting ready for grout. Yes, so what we do, I'm going to pour this product to bucket. It's pretty much like milk, but it's not milk, of course. This is this is it. Okay, and we have a grout. I'm using uh, only custom building products, grout and setting components. This is uh, anti-quiet color that we will use for the shower walls, simply because we have lighter tiles and the grout space is 3 sixteenths of an inch. So uh, we're using sanded grout for the, on the floor. We have 1 16th of an inch. So I will use unsanded product. But yes, pretty much adding this to that. I'm adding some water to the grout as well. Sometimes you will see that contractor is mixing grout with a hand or stick. Uh, it's not really good way to mix the grout because uh, to have the color consistent it has to be really well mixed you cannot just keep uh, mixing with a hand because it might not uh, get uh, the color that it's supposed to plus might be not durable because if we have areas where there's more water and less product this grout will simply peel off or fall out so good mixer is a must to have this done correctly Okay, now I'm gonna leave the grout for a few minutes to let kind of uh, work with all these chemicals that it includes or something. So we're leaving this for a few moments and then I will mix it once more, uh, not adding water at this time, before I will do the final grouting. So this is it. Don't forget about stain blocker because this is something that will save you a lot of trouble and maintenance later. And Definitely, please wear gloves and don't grout burpee. <laughs>
So once we will grab, I usually grab them wall by wall, once the whole grab been applied, I'm letting sit the ground for several minutes before I wash it. So next step is to use the sponge and mainly with the circular moves. I'm removing all the extra grout and making actually ground joints more smooth Of course, after everything is completely dry, 
there will be some haze, like some residues from grout that you will see the next day. And this can be easily removed just by wiping it with a towel. So it's not a problem. But the goal is to of course remove all major majority of the grout. Because if you will not wash it correctly, later you will have to scrape it or simply use acid, muriatic acid, to, to remove the grout. So be careful. Do not leave grout just on the walls for more than five minutes. After five minutes, go ahead and wipe it.
also use hand for grounding, make sure you have a glove. Sometimes it's way easier, certain areas are very hard to access with a glove float. Sometimes tomorrow, uh, it's usually good to leave grout for 24 hours at least to settle, to dry before applying sealer or uh, doing final cleaning. So, yeah, this is pretty much the way it looks right now. The grout still has to dry, it's still wet, but it will blend nicely with the tiles and yes yeah, so this is another nice project and tomorrow I will work on the fixtures and I will show you the final result okay so I'm working on the fixtures and um, yes we putting Delta uh, system here we have Delta valve, Delta trims the Delta handheld that will be attached to the head in one of my other videos I'm showing how to work on such fixtures how to install valve how to install trims I have videos for uh, hands growy collar Moen and Delta so you can hopefully find something on my channel that you will like Okay, one of the very last part on our project will be sealer application. We already have used this product that uh, makes grout stronger and more durable, but sealer is always a good option on top of uh, any other product. So what I will be doing, I will be spraying this sealer uh, on top of the grout and tiles it's um, a must for the grout and if we're dealing with the stone tiles uh, it's also recommended um, so keep that in mind it's pretty easy to apply what we do we pretty much will spray this then I will leave it for a few minutes and we'll wipe it all the directions how to use it are always on a label you can use this brand you can use different product uh, make sure that actually you know what you're doing simply because there's a sealer and there's a sealer enhancer enhancer will actually change the color of the grout uh, and 
will also enhance the stone. So if you want to keep the color of the grout and the color of the stone, please use just regular sealer. If you would like to enhance the color to make it darker or just more real, then we using enhancer. So there's a huge difference. The products look the same, they both sealers, but many homeowners accidentally buying uh, enhancer and then there's no way out. It's permanent change. So so this is it. So I'm going to spray it, wipe it, and then I'll show you some final shots of this shower project. Thank you. One more important thing, of course, here we're going to have the frameless door put in uh, in about 5-6 days. Uh, Bob from First Glass was already here, measured, spoke with homeowners. So uh, we will be getting here a nice frameless door that will be all the way to the height of the shower head because this is goal for shower enclosure to catch all the splashes, all the drops of water, preventing them from ending up on the floor. Uh, in this case, with this setup, uh, we can temporarily install the rod with the shower curtain. The shower goes wall to wall, so if we hang the curtain for a week, that should be fine. But shower curtain is never recommended for the walk-in shower, uh, simply because uh, what happens often, uh, the curtain will slip through the curb, because there's not a lot that actually holds the curtain in place. It's just about two and a half inches. So many times curtain slips, or actually water is penetrating between the curtain and the, do and the tile work and getting out of a shower over time causing discoloration, stains, mold and rot to the subflooring. The curb is sloped to the inside but if there's a lot of water ending up in these areas of course eventually it will get to the outside. So the shower curtain is good for a short time but every shower uh, need a uh, shower door that will catch all the, mo all the uh, water. What people do those days, they you, uh, go in with frameless. Frameless means no uh, frame, no any unnecessary metal and rubberized sealants, gaskets. It's just a nice piece of glass with uh, uh, hinges and a knob as an as only metal present so so this is something to be installed about a week from now I might show you some pictures probably not because I'm not going to be back here this is different person that actually will have to do this part for me and yeah so keep that in mind because this is another important important thing to have to do everything to keep this shower and floor and all the work we did in a nice condition for a long long time don't try to cut the corners do it right way okie doke so this is probably the last update from the project here in uh, downwoody in atlanta metro uh, where i will was where i been working along with peter on this bathroom and i've been showing you how the process goes when it comes to shower. We focused on the shower to show you some important, interesting uh, parts of each shower project. And uh, I hope you have a good time watching it and there was something that you found interesting. But uh, yes, yeah, so we pretty much finish. Uh, we have all the tile work done, we have fixtures in place, uh, we have niches built in, grouting been done, sealer been applied. You had a chance to see pretty much every part of this job uh, during us working here. And uh, yes, so very nice. Um, assuming I've been showing you most of the work in this s several videos. If you look at some other videos on my channel, you will see how to frame the niche and how to tile niche of this type exactly same thing i'm showing step by step instructions how to 
perform niche installation and all the waterproofing. I'm also uh, showing how to work on the fixtures for different manufacturers, so you can check this out as well. And I have uh, another few videos about uh, waterproofing where I am focusing on the waterproofing for walk-in showers. So all of those combined might give you a good idea what it takes to do such project correctly and hopefully help you with your own job that you have going on. Uh, here we also did the floor. We have a 12 by 12 inch marble tiles and we also did new tub, new decking. So all of this has been done within 10 days. We've been here 10 days uh, from very first day where we did demo to till today to final fixtures installation. So, so very nice. The painting is still to be done, but homeowner is going to take care of this part. And uh, yeah, so this is how it worked out. Uh, really nice shower. And this is pretty much it. Thank you for watching and well, stay tuned with us because there will be more jobs that I would like to upload and share with you guys from my jobs. I'm just a contractor, small business owner, trying to make ends meet and hopefully help some other people uh, make their lives easier. Yes, and don't forget to stop by on my website. Um, over there, there's not really any products for sale, only my business info plus all the work that I did uh, in the past uh, lots of lots of pictures from my jobs and this is what I would like you to see because I'm proud of what I'm doing and uh, I'm happy when people looking at it and finding this interesting so so this is it visit tellmasterga.com for more projects like this and well, we'll see you on the next chapter.